So this is a two-part example. It says acetone has a density of 0 0.7857 grams per cubic centimeter. So that density um, is also a conversion factor. So we always have to remember that whenever we have one of those uh, types of units that's a combined unit, uh, we can use it as a conversion factor for the first so for the first question, it asks, what's the mass of 17.56 mils of acetone? So what you're really can, doing is just converting from volume to mass. So you have volume units there in milliliters, and you have mass units in grams, so you just cancel out your uh, units to get the units that you want. You need the other conversion factor, one mil equals one cubic centimeter. So that's what I use first to cancel out my mils. I have cubic centimeters. Then I can use the density and multiply that, canceling out the cubic centimeters, giving me the appropriate answer. So we have to get that answer into the right number of sig figs. And I think a lot of these answers are checking to see if you realize that, that your rounding rules and um, your significant zeros. So you got to round that number that you get from the calculator up uh, to 13.80. And since there's four sig figs in the given, you got to put that zero in there. And remember your units too. So it's 13.80 grams. And then the second question, what is the volume of 7.22 grams of acetone? A little easier. You only need to use excuse me, the density as uh, the conversion factor, but you're flipping it over this time to get uh, volume. And uh, I stopped at cubic centimeters just to um, show you that cubic centimeters is also a volume unit, so you can use that as well. So I just canceled out my grams to get my cubic centimeters. And again, this is uh, three significant digits, uh, you got to round up from what the, the calculator gives you. So 9.19 cubic centimeters. Let me know if there are any issues with this one.